people by people. Hmm. Let me let me greet you guys. You've been wonderful. You've done so much supporting humanity. And um, you have um, done so much in support of this channel too. And all of this is about me, Edoche Aligwe. Well, as you all know what happened, they had to be in court and they needed to do what they needed to do in court. But, hmm, hmm. You, Edoche and Judy Austin, Enugu bag of rice. They they did not uh, keep calm at all. They didn't keep calm at all. Do you know that Yule Duche came to court prepared? And I'm kind of thinking that Judy Austin is the one that helped to work what needs to be worked upon. You see, a lot of people don't know that Judy Austin wants that divorce to go through. So that she can marry you, Leduce, and get the least or the little remaining in you, Leduce's life. That's one thing. Now, May knows about this. You guys might think, why? Of course, if May wants this marriage divorce thing to come to an end like ASAP, she would not need to say pay 100 million that you, Leduce, does not have so that they will keep dragging it in court. No, not at all. She will not need it. She will simply say, look, to hell with you guys. I don't even need anything from you apart from this property, this and that. Of course, Yule Duche is also ready to relinquish that house to her. But she knows and he knows also that under eight children requires a stable place to live in according to the Lagos state law. Now, that being said, so they arrived at the court and what Yule Duche did will shock you guys. But before we proceed, I want you guys to like and share, tap on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. Returning subscribers and those that have been here, I say a very big thank you to you for returning and also for being here. You've been very, you know, you've been very good. Um, to those who drop comments here and there, you've also been very marvelous. Um, you've helped me um, realize. You've also helped y'all and uh, Judy also see more about themselves. And not just that alone, to... Um, those that have tapped uh, on the thanks button to encourage this channel to do more, the thanks button with the dollar sign in the middle of it, I say may God replenish your pockets. If you want to proceed on this, like you want to help further, you want to encourage us to do more, you want to put fuel into our car, you can as well tap on that also. Let us get down to the wicked act of Yule Duche in court. Now, thank God for me Edoche's uh, wisdom. Mm, thank God for me Edoche's wisdom. Thank God for that intuition. Thank God for the direction that was given to her. If not, hmm, what would have happened today? You know, there are certain things that cannot be taken to the court. And there are certain things that cannot be reported to the police. You can't report spiritual things to the police. Because there will be no evidence. As long as I am not physically in contact with you. And it's not recorded that I touched you or I did this to you. Um, you know, it's not possible for you to go to court or drag me to the police and say, Oh, I did this, I did that to you. That's why you have to be... Um, sort of cautious you know in interacting with people in a certain level parallelly this situation you also what you leduce posted on this page we don't care if it's judy that wrote it you know the venom you know the bitterness you know how pain he is you know how frustrated he is and being that someone okay you know how many movies he has acted in the coffin grave and all of that his mind is not working fine anymore like ah odogu Odogu turned into Diego. Like, what nonsense is this? What is this? Anyway, Yule Duche requested to meet with me. Like, can I see her eyeball to eyeball? Like, can I, like, face to face? Can we, like... And they're like, ah, for what reason? You guys are here, like, it's a battlefield, but it's a, it's a controlled battlefield. When you're on a divorce, you know, journey, or you're dragging someone to the court, it, it's a battle. But it's now made to appear civil. You see? 
it's a it's a battlefield where you will fight each other with evidence with uh, you know a lot of things will be presented so they said ah you know you guys have become enemies whenever it turns to we are going to the court for divorce not just we sign and you sign and everyone goes their separate way easy and calm if it is let us keep going to the court it has become a war it has become battle so how can you say you want to see her face to face he started saying uh, you know if there is no big deal i just need to see her so that we can have a talk there are certain things that i need to say to her uh, so she can understand well you know that you kept pressing that he would like to see her and that there's no issue here after all if not for this divorce of a thing both of us were you know uh, we were good together you know it's he said well they had no option than to pass message down to me like me your ex-husband or soon to be totally ex-husband says he would like to meet with you like talk and there is room for that but if you want it supervised um it's okay but me said no no i don't need to meet the reason i got a lawyer the reason i came to the court is for also have sanity mm, to have sanity that is why we both have our representatives here Whatever needs to be talked about can be talked about in court. And moreover, I do not want me and him faced together, placed together, so that he will begin to say certain words and you hope that he will hurt my feelings or say certain words or whatever. I prefer that he should go in, do what he needs to do, and I also go in and do what I need to do. Um, both of our legal representative and the and the legal team can now peruse over whatever it is and pass judgment and that's it i'm fine with it now you know a loser has nothing to lose because they have they've lost it yule duchi has lost it and it is not advisable for any sensible person to now give room after this long battle They've not been together for a while. After this long battle with all that he has put out on social media and all of that, to now meet with such a person, ah, it must mean that that person has some hidden agenda, diabolic. It's as if he can kidnap her like broad daylight, but the evil intent that he has inside of him, that wickedness that he wants to, that he wants to fulfill. You, you know, I already updated you guys back then about me falling sick, that a prophetess talked about it that if May is not careful, once she falls sick, through that sickness, they will take themselves away and not her. It all, all it needs is just to, to, to be close to her and fire her, just that little harrow of sickness. It will not be like sudden you know, demise and then they will hold him down. I say, ah, what did you touch her with? No, 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 no. These wicked people, they have advanced in their wickedness more than that. All they need is to just plant that seed of sickness. Then the person will get home. Ah, it could be that the type of arrow they will fire is this one. You must not shower. And they know that you must bathe. So as long as you don't, don't bathe, you'll be okay. But once you go into the bathroom, ah, you, you just shower and you come out, you start itching yourself. From itching yourself, you start developing some little goosebumps. It will be okay. Oh, it is just some, uh, um, maybe it's an infection. Oh, maybe it's a reaction. Then you go to meet your dermatologist. Then it, it becomes, it is not. It is more than dermatologist now. They refer you to a uh, skin cancer specialist. Then from there, you start itching. From there, you start visiting churches. Pastors, oh, we see an evil hand. We see uh, an ancestral hand. We see, oh, bring this amount of money. Then they will now drain all that she has worked for. Now, she will not be able to influence her brand anymore. She will begin to fall out slowly. She will, that period, you let would now step in like, she's still my wife. Start posting picture. Can't you guys see that I am with her now at a low moment? Whereas, he is behind it. So, all of these things... You need to know about your region, your locality, your village, your town, the practices in your country. So, me knows about these things like, eh? I will not shake hands. I will not sit in any chair. I will not do anything around this person before this individual fire me arrow of sickness that I will now start nursing at home. You, Leduche, we shall not see you. We will not see face to face. Now, I want to kind of believe that Judy Austin will be behind all of this. Like, don't worry, move in, 
Move in. You know, both of you will be meeting in the court. Move in. When you come close to her, give her something to worry about. Do her this thing so that she will not get herself again. All Judy Austin wants is to inherit what she did not work for. Just imagine if May is sick. Automatically, custody of the children falls into the hands of you. You has no other way to run it than to move into the house. That's it. That is it. Nothing more. This will never happen. Never again will affliction hit me. The first one that did to Kamli Chuku, that is the end of it. Never, ever again. So, well, Yule Duche could not um, achieve his purpose because the man that he was speaking to observed that Yule Duche was nervous. He wasn't himself. And he thought at first like it's the divorce of a thing that is telling on him. But he's watching that Yule Duche had his hands inside of his jacket. Like he just kept his hands. Who knows what is there that he wants to, f to, 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 to just pray when May turns back, you know? Not when May is talking to him. When May now turns back and say, all right, Talu, thank you, good, goodbye. And keeps then he will now spray the thing on her or spray the thing in the hair. You know that kind of thing? May God not allow such things to happen. That is why May said, no, I will not meet with you. Lucifer.